uh, key on, go through a couple on leash commands, just the same commands that you guys will be teaching your families or, or your family's dogs or dog. But the bottom line is what we want to do is we want Keon to do a about, hey, about heel. So he'll, he'll heel on a perfect leash for me. And that's what we want, about. So basically he, he's on a perfect leash. He's not pulling, he's just walking, he's healing with me. About, good boy, come. About, good boy. About. The commands I'm gonna give Keon are stop, sit, down. Good boy, stay. So he knows those. His stay's not as good because I don't work him on leash as much as I used to. So bottom line, this is sit, this is down, this is stay. Now this is wait. Keon, wait. Wait. Okay, Keon, come. Right here. Stop. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, go to heel. Nope, go to heel. Good boy. Perfect. Stop. Sit. Good boy. Now what I want to do is show you this. So off leash training, people often confuse the fact that, hey, I can make a dog come off leash. I didn't tell him to stay and, or stand either way, but I, I'm, I'm good with what he's doing right now. But the bottom line is my work with my dogs has come from months and months and months of working with them. So the fact is off leash comes once my dogs know what they're supposed to do. Keon, come. Good boy. Keon, stop, sit, Keon, down, hey, good boy, good boy, stay, nope, stay, good boy, Keon, stand, come on, stand, good boy, good boy, Keon, come, heel, heel, good boy, Keon, bow, come on, bow, heel, lift, Keon, heel, good boy, stop, good boy, I didn't tell him to sit, but that's, he knows that's what's expected. So bottom line, the off-leash work, I could call this dog off of a cat. I could call him off of deer. I could call him off of anything he wants to chase or play with. But the bottom line with Keon is me and him have got a trust now that's come from months and months of working with this. So when you guys want your dog to be proficient off-leash, it takes hours and hours and months and months of working the commands on leash before you have a trust like Keon and I have. Now Ellie's sitting in the background, you can't see her, but she is, she is not nearly as proficient as Keon. She's really good and she's great on leash, but off leash, I get about a 70% of, of her time. So anyway, it's just really important to understand that this is what you ultimately want your dog to do and be, is to have this proficiency where he'll do whatever you ask him to do. So that's it.